My name is Adnan Shima. I'm the country director of Islamic League Pakistan. Um, I've been working in the humanitarian sector for the last 21 years. I worked with Islamic League for around nine years in Pakistan, in Sudan, and in the UK. Um, then I uh, moved on to another organization and recently came back um, in September 2015. Um, I wanted to mention a couple of uh, success stories um, that I came across in, in Pakistan. Um, one is related to um, a couple of orphan children who, um, uh, through the support of uh, generous support of donors, um, Islamic Relief was, was helping. Um, so this was a, a family where we had a, a widow and two young children when Islamic Relief, a boy and a girl, started supporting them. Um, and through that support, um, recently I met them, alhamdulillah, um, the girl has now gone on to university. Mm -hmm. She is now uh, teaching um, other children. And the boy is about to go into college. Um, and I was so inspired by meeting the mother. She worked so hard. Um, they're living in a, in a rented accommodation. One room where they sleep, where they eat, they drink. Um, that's all they have. But the mother worked hard with the support that was coming through. Um, the children have grown up and they're educated um, and, and, and they are becoming you know, productive members of society. So that was an inspiring story. Um, another example I'd like to mention is that um, during the recent earthquake in the northern areas of Pakistan in Chitral, um, Alhamdulillah, Islamic Relief team was one of the first to get uh, onto the ground. Um, in very challenging circumstances, the terrain is very difficult. Um, when, our, uh, when the earthquake struck, um, it was hot in Islamabad and the team moved uh, from there. When they arrived in Chitral, um, it was freezing. And so they were just in their t-shirts. Uh, they didn't think about getting their clothes or anything and they were just there in their t-shirts. Um, and they were on the ground um, and the roads were closed. They traveled by foot. Um, and reached some of the most deserving people in that area. Um, one particular community who are, um, who are a minority, um, they are called the Kalash, um, and um, legend has it that they, are, they came with the Alexander the Great and they were part of his, his troops and they started uh, to live in that particular area. Um, they uh, have a pagan religion uh, which they follow and very few of them are, are left um, and Islamic Relief uh, supported that community. One of the interventions that we did was that um, their women have a communal bathing uh, space which was washed uh, away and destroyed um, when they had the floods and then the earthquake. Um, so Islamic Relief helped to reconstruct um, in, in a better way having uh, you know, solar uh, heating system uh, for them to be able to um, you know, clean themselves hygienically. Um, and this intervention was appreciated by the community. Um, they said that normally when organizations come, they have some kind of an agenda uh, that they are following, but these people came and they just did the work uh, without expecting anything in, in return. And, and the UNICEF representative recently visited that particular area and she was so impressed when she came back to, to Islamabad. She said, we want to support you uh, further in, in doing these kind of activities. Um, Regarding the challenges, uh, Pakistan is going through a difficult time at the moment uh, with the war on terror. Um, Pakistan is also uh, one of the top 10 countries that has been affected by climate change. Um, it's also uh, moving very fast towards being a water scarce country. Um, there are issues related to um, illiteracy. Um, so there are multiple challenges that the country is, is facing. Um, the operational environment for organizations is also um, quite challenging because of, uh, because of the situation in Pakistan at the moment. Um, so it, it's difficult to work in Pakistan at the moment, um, but these are the challenges that we have to work with. Um, regarding um, the way forward, um, what we would like to do is, is to broaden the impact of the work that we do. Uh, that means greater engagement with the government authorities um, to also work in partnership with other organizations um, in a more uh, broad way 
Um, we are also looking to uh, focus on um, climate change adaptation um, as that's one of the main areas that's going to be affecting uh, communities across the country. Um, so these are some of the things that we are looking to focus in the future. Thank you.